What's up everyone? Today I'm out here and I'm going to staple some of the plastic on the greenhouse. It is cold guys. Um, but I shouldn't work up too much of a sweat. I'm gonna, I've already started down here at the bottom. I was starting and I thought, well dang, I didn't bring the camera out. So I'm gonna set you guys up and you guys can just hang out with me. I'm all by myself, so hang out with me. So what I'm doing is, let's see, I'll set you up right here, is I'm just stapling across the bottom right now and working my way over. And then I'm going to go back and staple the top and then I'll stretch the sides tight. The vinyl siding is actually going to go on top of, like over top of the plastic. I got myself a little rug so I don't get real dirty. I did have to buy a new stapler. I bought a new one, a cheap new one for $11. And it, um, I couldn't even push it, it was too hard to push. So I went and got this one last night, it was 14. Took the other one back. And um, this one doesn't do as long as uh, staples, but it does some long ones, but not real long like the other one. And this one's real easy to push. So I just have it lined up. I have slices of cardboard that I cut and um, that is so I don't put holes in the plastic and I'm just going to keep going down the line This one is really easy to push. piece of paper. I am going to work up a sweat. Dang. I didn't think I would. It is kind of hot when you're out here. Alright. Then we'll just go up like this. And it'll be perfect. Oh. So I want to make it tight and I don't want to go over this because I want to put vinyl siding there and I don't want, I don't want, you probably, my head's probably cut off, I don't want, um, I don't want the plastic to be seen. So I'm going to go back down to that end. It's working pretty good, guys. I just gotta put some more staples in here. At one spot I forgot to stretch real hard, but it's all right. It ain't gonna really, really make no difference. All right. I just wanna put a whole bunch of staples in to keep it, to keep it, um, Nice and tight so it don't fall off there. All right, guys, I'm starting to sweat. All right, so it's loose in the middle because I didn't stretch it there. But it'll be fine once the vinyl siding's over it. I'm going to take some plastic and go up here. 
and I'm gonna go all the way across here. So I gotta get those pieces cut real quick. Guys, I forgot to turn your back on. I already did the whole top. I'm at this end of the top. Shit fire. All right, it's done. I still have one more piece right in the center. See, right in here, I'm gonna try to get done. I have to go potty first though. All right guys, so I'm gonna cut some boards to go in between so that I have little shelves inside, in between, that maybe I can start something on, you know what I mean? Even though this is gonna have siding, I could still start stuff, it'll still have light, it just won't have direct sunlight. Or maybe there's something I need to start with light, but not direct sunlight. So I'm gonna put a shelf here, here, and there. I'm putting three shelves in, but I have to cut the wood real quick. And I need to do it before I put the plastic up. So let me back you guys up so you're not so you're not gonna get all the sawdust. Now you guys can't see what nothing that I'm doing. I'm cutting wood and I'm trying to put it on that greenhouse these drill bits guys when you put them in the impact they I don't know what you're seeing they break so easy they're just cheap drill bits from Harbor Freight but when you put them in an impact, the impact just breaks them so easy. All right, guys. I gotta wait for Tyler to come back with the, the other screw gun and the drill bit before I can continue right there. I'd love to get the siding started today. I don't know if I'll be able to, but we'll see. If so, I'll bring you guys with us. Alright guys, so I just drilled a hole all the way through. That way it should not, um, it shouldn't break, but it might still. Who knows? I'm going to use the screw gun to do it. Guys, did I, sh did I show you our fence over there is falling backwards? We're going to have to fix the new 4x4. Four four. We probably should have did that today. But I guess we'll do it tomorrow. Well, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so hopefully it doesn't fall down. It might not be till next week now. Who knows? I should have did it today. I can do the greenhouse by myself. Tyler was just sitting here. He was sitting here watching um, football on his phone while I was out here doing this. All right, so let's see, I'm gonna be on that side. All you're gonna see is my butt. I don't know where to put you guys. It's just kind of like tedious because I don't know where, you know, all we're doing is screwing in some things, but we're having an issue with the with the screws going in. I don't know where he went. All right, guys, I got the last one screwed in. I am gonna to try to get that plastic up. It's almost 5.30. We're gonna lose daylight. This is gonna be a hell of a video to edit. <laughs> I might not even put all this stuff in there. It's gonna be hard to edit.
All right, everyone. I did get the plastic done on the front and I went ahead and started on the back. It's getting dark so quick. I got that piece right there done. I just put all this junk back. I got this piece here cut and ready. And then I have two small pieces back here I have to do. Um, and then the whole other side, the side inside where the, where the lawnmower is going. But as you can see, it looks daylight. It's not, it's getting dark. Look, there's the moon. Can you see the moon? It's gonna be pitch black here in a minute. So that wall there I have to get to, but I'm trying to get the other walls first. All right, but I'm done for tonight. Hey guys, before I leave, I cleaned my shed out yesterday or the day before. I don't think I filmed, but I found these things under the ground. So I dug them up and shoved stuff underneath so that I could bring them back up high. I mean, they're all broke up, but at least I have steps now. You guys want to see the shed? I don't know if you've seen it before. I mean, I'll have to show it to you in the daylight because it's, it's, it's a lot better. I took the whole bench. There was a big workbench in here. I took it out of the shed, which I know you can't see. And then I took it around and I was hoping. I, I measured and, and I was like, oh my gosh, I think it's gonna fit in the greenhouse. And um, it fit by a fourth of an inch. So here it is. It's in there. I got this rock down here already. Let me pull this open. Here's the workbench. It fit perfect all the way across the back of the greenhouse. I just couldn't believe that it fit that perfect. So it worked out good. And then I have a bunch of um, wire shelves to go across the front. I have this shelf here. All, all this stuff I got off the side of the road. Um, gotta get this back here. For right now, that's what holds the door closed. I'll have to put plastic on the screen door on the inside um, in the winter and I'll figure out how I'm gonna do that I might do it with um with um, a thin piece of wood with some aluminum screws and then every year screw it in the same holes I'm not really sure anyways that's all for tonight because it's getting dark there's one of my J channels I was holding it up to see what it would look like I got to get it back over that way so that nobody steps on it and guys, we never got the fence fixed. So, all right, that's it. Good morning, everyone. Did you guys hear that it snowed in the top of Florida? Up in the Panhandle by Pensacola, Florida, where I was born, it snowed. Um, it snow flurried, I think they said less than an inch. But it snowed, and this is, today is, I think today's the 17th, January 17th. Anyways, I wanted to show you guys, I got all the plastic on the greenhouse. Um, and I'll tell you what, I'm, what I, I might be planning to do. I'm not sure if I brought you out here and showed you all this or not. Guess I won't know till I go back and <laughs> cut that part out. All right, so this whole side here, it might have been, oh, I just heard something. Get it, Louie, whatever it is. Anyways, this whole side here is um, ready for siding. Now, I did put a thermometer in there, so we'll go in together and we'll see what the temperature is. Now, it's cool outside. It's not a, it's not a warm day. It's like in the, it's probably in the 60s. But inside that greenhouse earlier, like right here at these windows, because that's where it hits. The windows aren't um, aren't hot though, um, but it was. I had the thermometer in there earlier, and it was really hot. All right, so let's walk around. I got the plastic all up here. I got the plastic all back here in the wood. Now I leaned these because I'm not going to use them now. I leaned them there so when the water comes off, the water will go away from the greenhouse instead of into the greenhouse. Of course this damn battery's gonna die. Well, let's get in and take a look. 
Let's see what the temperature is before the battery dies. 86 by the front window and 71 back here where this one is. See, the other one is right here. So 86 here because it's right at the sun. And then back here is 71. And that is with, I got the plastic on the door now. So it's going to be nice and warm in here. It might be too warm at, at some times. So I'm going to have to probably crack some of these windows. Um, I was going to put a small window here and I still could staple around and cut this out and put a small window there. Um, I might need the airflow because I'm not going to have any airflow. I was going to put plastic up there, but I don't think I'm going to just yet. That's a little bit of airflow. I don't want it to be too hot in here, but I don't want it to be too cold in the winter. I want to get a bunch of things started. So I thought about taking that one and turning it sideways so it won't be right up against the window. But I really like it the way it is. So, yeah, we're going to see. See what happens. I mean, I might stain glass some of the window. Alright guys, so earlier when I was out here, the camera cut off. I am going to set you guys up. I'm going to try to do some siding. I don't know where I'm going to set you guys up at. Over this way, maybe. If you guys ever shook my hand, you would feel how rough my hands are. I don't have smooth woman hands. They're so rough because I work so much. Okay. You just gotta make sure this song. Um... Did I not screw that piece in? I swear I did. I didn't. <laughs> pop this back off. I didn't screw the other piece in when I thought I did. Alright guys. I'm still trying to get that piece of siding on there. All right, everyone, I only got the two bottom pieces done. And the reason being is I want to paint, and I'm not a great painter. I'm going to have to tape that off right there. Just to paint this, I'm going to have to tape this off. And I didn't want to have to worry about the whole dang thing taping it off. So I'm going to get, I have paint from the house, the white trim paint from the house. That's what I'm probably going to use, but not today. Today I'm going to, oh, it's getting late. I don't have much daylight. I think if I can find the sander, I'm going to sand down the fence out front. The fence that I made, the gate and all that, because I want to I want to paint it white. Anyways, that's all I'm doing for today. It's 64 inside the greenhouse. And um, we'll go in the house and we'll see what temperature it actually is outside. I don't know where my cell phone is. I hope I brought, I hope I left it in the house because I've been hollering for Siri and she ain't answering. 
Look, I gotta come back out. I gotta grab them sheets in case it rains. I had to cover up a bunch of plants last night. Like, I had these all covered up, but I don't know. I think they can handle some cold, but not too much cold. It's gonna be 31 this week. Go, Lou. Let's find mommy's cell phone. Alright. What a mess. Oh, shoot. I forgot I had a TV on. Shouldn't get a copyright. It's my own video. Alright, so it is 64 outside, 74 inside. Holy crap. What's up, everyone? I have been out here since early this morning working on the greenhouse. Um, it was... I think it was 78 degrees when I got up this morning. I couldn't believe it. Um, I think it, I thought it was supposed to get down below freezing in the next couple of days. But anyways, it's nice out. You could tell the way I'm dressed. Um, I wanna show you what I got done and I'm working on the other side. It started to sprinkle a little bit this morning so I didn't bring the camera out and I was out here doing it. I finished the front. Look guys, now the only thing I didn't do on the front is I did not get the thing across the top um i think i might put a piece of wood there because a piece of wood that i can paint white is going to be way cheaper than than this stuff that i that i'm buying the you know the the cover stuff i already bought they're 777 each big piece i think it's 10 foot or 12 foot i think it's 10 foot um and here's where i am on the side I started putting the siding up over here. Um, but like these things right here, they're nice and they make it look good. But, um, you know, I started out doing this greenhouse with free stuff. The siding was free, the middle part. But those strips on the side, they was not free. Um, I'm trying to think of what I cut off. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. They're probably 12 foot. Um, so, you know, that's like eight bucks a piece. And I got two there. I used some around the front, and then I have a couple pieces left. I need two of them right here. And then around the back, I'm not even sure if I care how nice it looks around the back. I might just put one on this edge and not worry about the back because I'm not going to see it anyways. And we have those doors back there. Um, I'm not sure yet. Alright guys, so camera cut off. I don't know what I was saying. So I'm going to set you up just for a few minutes. You guys can see what I'm doing. I don't know if it's going to rain anymore today. I have Mr. Lou here. I actually have his muzzle because he would not stop barking. So if you bark, you're going to get the muzzle. I took it off of him because he's been laying here. But um, he's driving me crazy and I'm sure he's driving my neighbors crazy. So let me set you guys up. And um... I'm going to finish putting doing that siding right there. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see my face. Probably not. I wanted you to see what I was doing. You can just see my fat. All right, well, it's okay. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the tape measure. Let me get you closer. Alright, so what I'm doing is I'm taking the tape measure and I'm measuring over to 21. 21 and one dot. So, and then I'm marking it like that. Then I'm taking my, my T-square, which is going to be not a lot of room. Let's see. I'm sliding this over here, making sure it's square, and then draw in the line. So I'm making sure it's square. Okay. 
then I'm taking the clippers that I got from Walmart for five dollars and some change these clippers right here and then I'm cutting it in half and I have been you know cutting all week a little bit at a time because this is hard it's not hard it just hurts my hands but today I've cut a lot I tried to cut extra so that I wouldn't have to cut so much when I was out here actually doing the job but I had to wait and see what the measurements were this piece here the thick piece is so hard Ugh. all right so there's one now this one here I don't even know if it's 21 we'll see ah it is barely 21 but that's okay What was that? Louie, who are you? It must be Louie. That was weird. Now, I'll take that T-square again. I probably won't bring you in here every time, but I wanted you to see how I was doing it. I said, ladies, if you have any kind of skills at all, you don't need a man. You don't have to hire anybody. Just get out and do it yourself. You know? If you're unsure how to do something, Google it. Alright, so this is not, not working very well. Let's do it this way. Remember, always, always measure two or three times before you cut. But you can always cut more off, but you can't add more to it. All right. Hopefully, I might have to cut this one like across the top, too. I'm not sure how the top's going to look, but you know what? I really don't care. It's just a greenhouse. I've done a lot more than I even planned on doing. I was just going to throw plastic over it, which I have. Thrown plastic over it. But now I just feel like I want it to look good. And if for any reason the roof starts leaking, I'm putting a normal roof on it. Because look up. That roof ain't letting no light in anyways, so I could have just put some shingles up there and it would have been, it would have lasted longer. And also, if I decide I don't want a greenhouse, all I got to do is close the whole thing in and I have a shed. All right, let's go back out here. Almost done up there at the top, guys. Almost. We'll see how this works out. Damn guys, that was a pain in the ass. Got a boo-boo now. I can do. Yay, good enough. It looks fine. I don't really care. It looks fine from a distance. The only way you're going to see how the, the little flaws is if you're right on top of it. I like it. I think it looks great. Alright guys. 
Tell me what you think. I know we got the sun in our face. Looks good. Now I have to figure out something across the top there. I might like get a piece of construction paper and put it up there and then I will know how to cut the siding a little bit better. Then I gotta start right here. And once I do the back, I still have tons of siding right there. But if I, had, let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pieces. So I would need eleven pieces that are long. That is if I decide to do up in here. I would need eleven. Well, no, the other side might be higher, but I will say at least eleven pieces. And I still have to do the back. So. I want to do the back first. I want to do this piece first. I want to do everything that's going to show first. Oh, lizards are going to die. Please don't come eat you. I was trying to get this ladder out of here. So I could show you guys. Yeah, your guys are all over the place. So the next one is to finish this and that. And then back here, I only have this piece. Um, I was going to throw a piece across here just to, so the neighbors don't have to see that part. Um, and then I might go across here, but I might not. I might just do some paint because that's just a temporary fix because um, these are just old. So I, maybe I won't go there. I don't know. Maybe I won't even do the back. Maybe I'll just leave the light. Maybe I'll put one piece right across the top so that... It's not their eyes, the neighbor's eyes are. And maybe I'll just leave the back open like this. It wouldn't matter, would it? I mean, if the plastic breaks, I'll have to just put new plastic up. Now here, look at that. That looks really good. It looks extremely good. I'm happy with it. I should have took the top. Now, this is what I think I should have done. I should have took these all the way out to here. But it's okay that I didn't. I'm not changing it. There's no way in hell. It was too hard to do by myself. So I'm definitely not changing it. But when I look at it down there, it looks like maybe I should have. Maybe I should have painted that 4x4 four four white. I was, not, I was going to, and then I changed my mind. So... Don't you dare bark. I'll put that muzzle on you. You no know bark. He's got to learn, guys. He drives my neighbors crazy. I know he drives me crazy, so I know he drives the neighbors crazy. All right, so that's all for today.